meet Richard Whitehead, double congenital amputee and world record marathon runner. Richard has competed in marathons across the globe, holding all records possible as an amputee in long distance running events. His journey has been one of determination and ambition, spurred on by the support of those around him. Parental support was very important when I, when I was growing up and um, that really set the foundations for, for everything really. But luckily, as well as that parental support, I had coaches that um, that were as supportive and gave me direction and gave me those pathways into high-level performance as well. But the biggest supports in Richard's career were to be the two upon which he runs, his carbon fibre prosthetics, which turned his running dream into a reality in 2004. I had uh, sports cups before um, when I was running and then the prosthetics were then accessible for me. Because of me not having a need to support um, my running prosthetics, um, I have to circumduct when I run, so I have to adapt my running style accordingly. And the reason why I don't run with uh, knees is because um, it'd be okay to run, and I have done, run over a shorter distance with a knee that you can't control, but um, over a longer distance, stability-wise, and especially in a marathon, it's very important about you knowing what, how you plant your foot and you knowing that you're going to get the same kind of response step after step, and they wouldn't be that reliable. So it was, it was all about me getting this technology and then me controlling that technology for the best of, uh, best of me to perform. And perform he did. Five years ago, Richard competed in his first ever marathon in New York, completing the gruelling course after just five weeks on his new prosthetics. And he hasn't looked back since. Somebody with, uh, with a disability like mine, as a double leg MC, wouldn't necessarily want to run a marathon. And it was a, a case of I wanted to do it to break down barriers in other areas, really, and to say that it's a, it's a challenge that a lot of people maybe thought that, that they would never obtain and that somebody like myself that has a disability uh, had set small achievable goals and then achieved his goal of running the marathon, which at the time was a massive achievement for me and probably one of the biggest ones I've, I've, I've done in my life. But since then I've run obviously 16 marathons and broke world records and done two ultra marathons and been to the Paralympics. To stay at the top of his game and with a dream to compete in the 2012 Olympics, Richard has to put in an extraordinary amount of hard work. Because I'm raising the bar all the time regarding performance, uh, my training methods have to be um, stepped up as well. So I've gone from maybe 20 or 30 miles in maximum three or four years ago, now stepping up from 75 to 90 miles on the road, as well as seeing my strength and conditioning coach more and then for other conditions, I, I swim still, a little bit on the bike, I've got a bike at home, and um, just uh, try and enjoy sport as well. I also visit the sports science unit at Loughborough, and they monitor my, uh, my performance there, which, which gives me and the coaches a lot of feedback on how I'm actually progressing, and hopefully we, we keep on that, that, that path to success towards 2012.